guys welcome to the video today I'm just going to do a casual vlog style out here in our yard um, in our various garden areas and just show you what I'm up to today hopefully that is interesting to some of you I have a few things to do um, nothing major but I'm gonna take you along you guys will have to bear with me with the Sun because the sun is getting ready to go over the back side of our house right now, but it's not quite there yet. But I'll show you what I'm doing here. So this is just all the plants, um, not all, but most of the plants that I had in the greenhouse. And I've pulled them out to begin the hardening off process. Now, some of these I got curbside pickup from our local greenhouse, and some are seedlings that we grew from seeds, so obviously they need to be hardened off. Now the ones that I got from the greenhouse I don't really know, you know, like what state they were in when I got them since I got them curbside. I don't know if they had been like sitting out where they typically do during the normal garden season or if they were like still put away. So I'm just going to set some things out. They've been out here for maybe an hour in the sun and like I said, they're getting ready to go in shade soon. You can see that like over here by my fern is already getting the shade of the house and these guys will be in it soon so I was just kind of giving them some morning midday-ish sun to then shade but then they'll still be out in the elements for the rest of today at least while I'm outside today I'll stick everything back in before I have some errands to run later but these guys need water <laughs> like they're they're drooping especially like some of the super bells um so I'm gonna grab some water for those there's Benton what are you doing? I don't know. Are you playing with your sink? Yep. There's Ellie. Hi. Swinging. <laughs> All right, so I have more uh, plants sitting down here. I This cardboard like tray thing is starting to disintegrate, and I just set it down here before I even made my way over there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to grab some water. And we do have a rain barrel that should be pretty pretty full right now because we've had a lot of rain the last couple days yeah like I can't even I can't even move it right now so it definitely is full and we have like a top spout um and then we attach a hose to the bottom spout to make it easier to put in the watering cans with all the watering cans but it's really nice because the kids can just come over and get whatever water they need to play with and uh it's not like using our water that affects our water bill because we are on city water. Oh, my lovely boots. Guys, I have to show you these. I'll call them out. These are llamas. I'm not sure if you can see them. It's so funny. But they're llamas. I got these for $10 in the kids section at Target on clearance last year. And they have been my garden boots. Alright. Let's water these guys we've got a sweet potato vine here some eucalyptus my lavender's tipped over the sun is like atrocious for you guys to be able to see but hopefully you can still tell what i'm doing and it will improve some giant these are the super tuna giant pinks I'm gonna plant those in the ground this year. I did them in pots last year and they just got so out of control and huge. They couldn't even see like any part of my pot and they were just too big. So I'm gonna try them in the ground, see what they do. I have my Munster lavender right here and just some like Dinka fine filler stuff. This is my new little boxwood guy that I got in these big pots. These pots I got from at home. They were doing curbside pickup. So I was able to get those because I needed some big pots because if you've watched any old videos, you'll know that this deck is brand new. This is still a work in progress. It is not completed, but it is looking awesome. Um, Brent did all of this. So we still have to attach um, more railing for this small part here. You can see there's like still a hole there. And then 
Man, monster trash. <laughs> trash truck Benton usually likes when it comes by, but it's kind of loud. But he also has to do um, over here between this pergola area railing. And then we're leaving this part as an like an entrance on this side with the planter box here on this side to kind of narrow that. But yeah, he has those pieces left to do. And of course, we have all the staining that we'll have to wait until the wood has seasoned out a little bit. Okay, so I'm grabbing my water and getting back to what I was doing. You guys will see that I have some serious gardening ADD. <laughs> I, I start doing one thing and then I see something else that needs to be done and usually I would like test all of these but I tested them earlier um, just with my hand and they were very dry and I could just tell they were that guy is especially dry I don't know if you can see he's pretty wilty I'm waiting for my water to fill up. Um, but I'm hoping to get a lot of this stuff planted very soon. But we've still had a few nights that have been cool. Like last night was like 40. Looking at the extended forecast, that's probably about the lowest it's going to get, and it's probably going to improve soon. But I just, I'm going to wait just a little. Usually, we wait until Mother's Day weekend. Last year we did things a little bit earlier. It all just kind of depends on the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish watering these guys and then I'll talk some more and show you what I'm doing next. Okay, what are we gonna go do now? The Bitten's radish come up? Yes, that is a radish. Okay. 24 day packet. They are coming up. <gasps> what do you got there? Here, radish. it's so sunny, it's hard for me to see and the camera. Have, but uh, and have, we have radishes. I, I yeah. want to eat them. These are on seeds. I, I want to eat them. They're not quite ready. Yeah. Not quite ready yet, but, but Ellie planted some radishes and they are coming. sprouting. I'm in the greenhouse now. Look, and it mommy, seems kind of my, <laughs> empty right now because look, all my stuff my, is sitting on the deck. strawberry plant anyway I have some things sitting out there too but I just brought some water in here I'm gonna water um, what I have that's in here um, this guy so crazy uh, right now it is 81 degrees I don't know if you can see it it's so sunny in here it's 81 degrees and 38.1 percent humidity so need to open the top. I did not do that earlier, but I did open the door. So you'll see I have this already setting in here because I noticed some aphids on some stuff yesterday and I'm not sure if it's because we've been taking some things in and out or if they came to us with a few critters. The stuff we got, I don't know. <laughs> Woo! So we have some zinnias, these are little lilac zinnias. We grew up farms. These were seeds that we grew. We didn't have the greatest luck with our zinnias, but again, this is our first year with. Um, greenhouse first year really starting seeds um, my husband's done it with vegetables and things but this is the first um, 
first year, we've really done flowers. And we have some, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, it is so sunny. Um, some Cosmos here that we also can see. I don't know what that is because it does not look like a Cosmo, but what do you guys think that is? Is that a weed? I don't know, maybe it's a Cosmo. We'll water it. <laughs> So I'm trying to film a clip, I don't know how far I got in it, but just explaining that everything we're doing is relatively new to us. Like when we moved here uh, two years ago, there was pretty well zero landscaping and what was here we took out and there was one pink peony, like the perfect pink peony for us. <laughs> and of course we kept it, but everything else we took out and anything else we put in. So. But everything that we've done this year has been like substantially more than the year before. Like I, I feel like we know more, we've been like learning more, even in the off season, in the winter we've been watching gardening shows or reading or whatever. Um, yeah, I just finished watering some of the stuff in here that I have left in here. It was mainly just like these zinnia seedlings. Um, they had some insects and spiders and stuff. And so I did that spray that I just showed you, the insecticidal soap. And I've burnt some of the leaves. So not great. So I didn't want to subject, subject them to like any hardening off today and just like added stress. So I left them in here. I left the cosmos in here just cause I'm not going to be planting them this week. Cause that stuff's going in the ground. And then um, I left the lantanas um, just because they're such a warm weather thing. I don't think they like those cold nights that we're still getting. And then this bad boy is actually Brent's Pride and Joy. This is a lantana that's been trained into a tree um, that we got this year. I actually saw it when I went to the garden center by myself and um, I knew he would want it and he did. We went back the next day and got it. <laughs> so um, it's pretty but we had so many pollinators and like especially he loves hummingbirds so we had a lot of hummingbirds at our lantanas last year so we're doing more lantanas and pots plus this this guy we're gonna try to overwinter him in the house i don't know if it'll work but if you have any experience with lantanas and you live in a colder zone like we do um we're in a zone six then let me know have you ever overwintered one leave a comment and let me know if you have um, over here, I have some more Xenia seedlings, and um, these are ones that we grew by seed. They're still trucking along, some looking real good, some not. Um, I have some State Fair mix, um, some Unicorn mix. This was from Florette, too. Those were at least pick and I have some foxglove over here and then I have one black eyed Susan vine that I'm trying to do from seed um <laughs> Benton had a little cosmo he planted in here but it hasn't germinated I don't know that it's going to and I have some angelonias that I don't know why I didn't take them out I think I just thought they were okay they seem pretty they seem ready to go um their leaves don't seem like seedlings or anything so I'm just gonna keep them here and I have a rock apolco rose and patient down here and apparently those blooms either did not like the spray from yesterday or they're just kind of older blooms but um I'll show you where it's going in a little bit but hopefully you can see all of this um, I keep him back here under this little cart, and then I just have some junk here. Um, empty containers that need washed and things. And I have my bump up sprayer. And I have some more Xenia starts right there. And yeah, pretty well it. Brent has some tomato plants down here. I think these are both, yeah, they're both goat bag 
tomatoes, which sounds crazy to me, but funny name. Um, we planted them up in these galvanized totes because we are not doing our vegetable garden this year, like full out how we want to. We have plans for it. I don't know if you can see, but where our planter box trellises are, like this whole area will be eventually vegetable garden all right here and we're gonna fence it in and do raised beds and make it really cute but that's, that's another time another year um so yeah now what i'm gonna do is walk around and just check on things and i'll take you guys along as i do that it's kind of my routine i mostly just start with like watering type chores or like anything within the greenhouse usually I have to come out and open it up like I did so right now I have the top part open and then I also have the door propped with some bee balm that's not been planted yet um, and then I pop this part open um, in the top to give it some air but yeah, I usually start with my greenhouse stuff and then go look around and see if there's anything else I need to do. So I'll just kind of take you along. So outside the greenhouse, I have some tomato plants and some zucchini hardening off. And then this is where I saw the aphids yesterday. Um, let's see if you can see them Ooh, right there. There they are. They're black, which are ones in the front are green. Um, that are on my roses right now. I'll show you those in a minute too. Ah, nice. Pink and aphids. Can't stand them. Um, bee balm, like I said, Ellie has strawberries that are gonna go in that container. Um, we were waiting for her berry tone to come. She wanted to film a video. And um, it came today and I'll actually show you. It's quarantining on my porch right now, but I'll show you. It's hilarious how I found it. We got a peony here, everything, milkweed, all this is looking good. This is Ellie's um, David Austin Shrub Row. She has a video on it. I will put a link for it here, but it's doing great. Leaf mount, looking, looking super. We have valiums that have not bloomed yet and one really strange looking one. And then we have peonies getting up. They're looking good. And we've got some Walker's Low cat mint I just planted there. All of this stuff is looking pretty much the same. The Black Eyed Susans are up just a little bit more in the back, if you can see those. Definitely some greening up on that butterfly bush that I think maybe in Ellie's tour that she did, we thought that it was gone. Um, but it's, it's not, it has green. And I believe that this rose has some issues. It either has spider mites or it has something. We transplanted it from the front and I'll step up here so you can see. I think that's spider mites. I don't really know. But it goes days where it has great green leaves and then it has days where they yellow and fall off. So I don't know if it's just stressed and moving it. Um, it looks like it has some fungal stuff too which is not uncommon. I sprayed a lot last year for that kind of thing. So I don't know. I don't see any aphids on this one yet, so I'll be on the lookout. And then here are our sweet peas that I planted. They're just kind of, I don't know, they're not doing much. They're, this is what they looked like in the greenhouse, and I brought them out. They're like a dwarf variety, but I'm not sure. I, I tied them up with some twine on this obelisk, and it, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Fresh and sage is starting to green up. I have three of those, and these tulips look like they are done. They are done. They were really pretty. Some sort of little concoction that Lee just made over here. <laughs> she took my pot and made her a little something. And yeah, these hollyhocks are looking good over here. I don't see anything urgent pressing in this bed we have not hooked the drip up um, we have drip line as you can see we have no emitters in this bed yet because we do get rain um, 
that we just want to have the ability to water like new things or like if we're going to be gone which <laughs> won't be gone this year <laughs> but we just wanted that capability um so yeah we'll be working on setting that up so this is ellie's little window thing we haven't hooked it up here yet but she wants to put it up here on her um playhouse thing Hi, so she has the doublet love swept. They're so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And this is our outdoor chalkboard. We just did, we got the kids, we made the kids this for Easter. It was super easy. Um, I thought about doing a video with the process and I'm like, I don't know, there's probably a lot out there, but if you guys wanna see a video on it, I would be happy to do that. This is what Ellie was just talking about at the beginning of that clip. She said there was a bud on here. This is her little butterfly hanging thing. So cute. And that's one thing you'll notice. We still have to stain our scents. We installed this last year and we waited to season, we waited for it to, you know, season out. And, um, we didn't get to it last fall, um, and it needs to be done this year, but what's hard is Bryn's work schedule ramps up this time of year, so we'll see. But this is, soup, this is, what is this? Super Tunia uh, Daybreak Charm. Daybreak Charm. Daybreak Charm. And it is yellow center with a hot pink uh -huh. bloom. It's really well, pretty. That's gonna be the first bloom. Yeah, so pretty. And I had some extra, um, what it's called. Porta Laca. Porta Laca from my fairy garden video. And I just popped in here and it had lots of buds. Yeah, so pretty. And this is a dichondra that was coming out of the mother dichondra's leaves. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. No one knows. But okay, around the deck, <laughs> I have, you'll see, I saw things in containers. So this is a Spice Baby uh, Korean Spice Viburnum excited about that um it's a smaller version than normal i have a pot here that benton loves to dig to dig in this one i'm gonna be using it um i think i might have Brent use that one for that lantana tree we'll see and then i have a true limelight here because we have one two three we have three little limes and two pinky winkies this is our first true limelight, so he'll be big, and I'm thinking, I'm just, I'm still deciding around the deck. It's so hard for me to decide, but um, I want something big here, and I'm thinking of putting him there. He gets, he gets the perfect amount of light, as you can see, like this um, little lime is already in the shade for the day had morning sun now he's in the shade and the ones down there in the shade too so this one would have just a little bit longer in the sun I think he could handle it but we'll see I'm letting him kind of sit there for a minute I have a pink um molly grass I, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put him yet and then I got the, this on death row already death row at Lowe's it's a blue ice bog rosemary I thought it was really cool I got it for three bucks $18.98. Three dollars. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool. And it says like part sun. So he might do good back here somewhere. Anyway, he's still setting there. And then I think I showed you these pots. I had a boxwood. I don't know if I showed you this one. This, I was doing that ADD thing again. But this is a blue point juniper that <laughs> I sadly trimmed into a topiary. I wanted a two ball topiary. And I think he still has potential. Like, obviously, as this grows, this was my first one. So give me, give, give me some slack here. But he's, um, he's small, but he's mighty. I want to top dress him in gravel. And that's actually on my to Okay, so... Video quality has probably changed some because I have to finish on my phone because my camera, my memory card filled up and it was just taking too long to clean up. And the next garden task I have to do is to top dress um, this little boxwood over here. Over here. 
um, for my mom for Mother's Day because she's coming up to get hand sanitizer from me that I ordered from Young Living and masks that I made for her and some oils that I ordered for her. So, this is so weird. I'm like doing it very awkwardly. I, I can't even tell where I'm supposed to look. Guys, okay. I think right here. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go get the pea gravel to put on top of that for her. Show everybody what's, what's wrong. Show your hands. Um, my thing. You got sand. He was playing in the sand, but you can see here. Ellie and I did our nails this morning, and Benton wanted, he got a green dot, and he got a candy. Yeah, candy. I, want, I want to have all of it. Well, for now, those are, your daddy may kill me for these, but <laughs> you got, you got two. And then Ellie got beautiful lavender with, I'm trying to zoom in, flower decals. Decals? Flower decals lot heavier than I thought. So I'm going to have to go get something. Just cut this open and scoop it out. Scoop out how much I need. I've got lots of potting soil here too. <laughs> okay, so I got my pea gravel and my little box with here for my mom. And I was going to try to trim him up a little, make him more topiary like, but I went ahead and trimmed off the bottom the other day. Sorry, you guys can't see that. And I just think he's kind of cute like this. So I'm just going to let her decide if she wants me to like trim him up more later um or if she just wants to leave it like this that's fine too but I am going to top dress it with this pea gravel and it'll be cute I'm gonna work on that and I'll show you guys the end result all right so here's the end result I think it looks really cute and um disclaimer my mom has way more of a green thumb than I do um, it's probably innate in me somewhere from her and my grandma and my great aunt, but, um, this was kind of my attempt of doing something a little different than she doesn't have, because she loves topiary, but she doesn't have any, and this was kind of my attempt of, like, doing a Mother's Day present that was something she couldn't do herself, or something that she wouldn't think of to do, or was just the long term, so. This is him. I just can't decide. I don't know if I should trim them up or not. I know it's hard for you guys to see because the flowers are behind. But I'm just not sure. He's kind of cute like he is. I don't know. Okay, so I moved a little topiary over here to the front porch since... Sorry, there was a car. Um, since when my mom comes, we're social distancing on the front porch. So I brought that around here. Here's some more stuff I've yet to plant. Excited though. Here's my big pot that I'm just not sure about him this year. I'm not excited about him. I don't know. He's the, the <laughs> verdict is still out on him. I don't know. I don't know if I like him or not, but I have super tuna bubble gum, sweet potato vine, and a Carl Forrester grass in him for now. May or may not stay, <laughs> but that's what's here for now. And then I have an asparagus fern in there. And then over here, we still have these really pretty pansies. They're still so pretty. I don't know if you can see them. Still very pretty. My little um, cloche. We made a bunch of these for a market that Ellie and I were gonna do. That is canceled. So I have a whole lot of these now for myself. I wanted to keep one, but it's kind of beyond me. Um, I got some bacopa down here in this little slot pot and some more up here that little pot. I'm gonna go check because I sprayed my sedums yesterday. This is Autumn Joy sedum and like I said there were aphids. There they are. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm showing you. Yeah right there. Aphids. Nasty. Nasty. And you can see that they have already eaten some of these dang leaves already eaten them. So I'm spraying it and working on it. They're on my roses too. I'll show you those. Walk around here. This is our flamingo dappled willow tree, looking all cute and springing. And I'm not sure about this. This was our Ruby Falls weeping red blood, and it's I don't know. I don't know if he's okay. He, I don't know if the cold got him, which is weird for a red bud, but I don't know. It doesn't look great. 
here's our roses. Um, I don't know if you can see. I see an aphid right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I keep getting my hands in the way, but there are still some. I don't see as many. We're working on it. <laughs> Trying to get it under control before it gets bad. But a giant peony looking great. Okay, so so funny. I have to show you guys this. This is what I was talking about the berry tone that <laughs> we ordered. Um, this is how it was in the mailbox no damage, bagged for odor. So I saw that it was actually delivered. It was like a couple days late, but it was in the mailbox. And I didn't even know that that bag could fit in there, but it's in there. <laughs> and I feel so bad. I bet they hate us. Um, usually it comes with UPS. So I didn't really think about it being in their little mail truck and stinking really bad, but that made me laugh. No damage bagged for odor. <laughs> Sorry. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this short little vlog here, but there's really not much more that I have to do today besides pick up some more Rose RX, and then Ellie and I have to pick up some geraniums from a 4-H fundraiser that she did. I wish they weren't red. Um, because that doesn't really go with anything that I planned, but I still got four of them for Ellie. And um, yeah, so we have to pick those up, no contact style. <laughs> so we will be doing that later, but my mom is on her way and she's almost here. So I'm gonna wrap this up so we can social distance with her and give her her Mother's Day gift and give her her mask and hand sanitizer and all of that stuff too. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Um, if you want to see more like this, definitely let me know because I'm just still trying to find my footing in the garden space of sharing on YouTube. Alright, there's been. I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.